Okay. Good afternoon to all engineers and to all future engineers. Our topic for this video is the rotating vessel under hydraulics. And we will solve this problem from November 2019 Civil Engineering Board Exam. Okay, so let's proceed. An open cylindrical vessel 1.2 in diameter and 2.1 meter high is two-third filled of water. Determine the amount of water in liters that will be spilled out if the vessel is rotated about the vertical axis at a constant speed of 87 revolution per minute. Okay, so ang direction natin to solve this problem is to compare the volume of the paraboloid to this volume. The volume of this air. Okay, since ang tinatanong is yung natapon. Okay, so let's compute first the volume of this uh, air. Okay, so 2.1 less 1.4 to get the height is 0 0.7 meter. Okay, so let's compute first. Okay, so volume of this uh, initial air is pi r squared h. Okay, the volume of this cylinder where r is equal to 0.6 and h is equal to 0.7. So, the volume is 0 0.7917 cubic meter. Okay, then let's rotate it uh, with the constant speed of 87 revolution per minute. Okay, so ito na yung magiging itsura niya. So, nagkaroon tayo ng paraboloid and then from our figure, meron niyang natapon. So, this one, ito yung tinatanong na amount of water in liters. Okay, so from this one, meron tayong magiging paraboloid. So, ito yung paraboloid natin. So, we need to compute this volume of the paraboloid to uh, compare to the, to the volume of this, uh, what we call initial air. Okay? So, volume of the spilled, spilled out is equal to volume of this paraboloid less volume of the initial air. But, uh, wala pa tayong volume ng uh, paraboloid. Ayan yung kailangan pa natin i-compute. So, uh, paano natin makukuha ang volume of the paraboloid? Okay. From the derived formula, the volume of this paraboloid is equal to 1 half pi r squared multiplied by h. But, wala pa tayong h sa ngayon. This one. This is the uh, the h. Okay. So, we need to compute the value of H. Okay, this one. So, but dito sa H, meron tayong R. Meron tayong acceleration due to gravity. Wala pa tayo nitong W, which is the rate, the constant speed. Okay, so, it, uh, ang kailangan natin, so, ito is in, in revolution per minute. Kailangan natin to in radian per seconds. Okay, so this formula is applicable. Uh, the the speed should be in radian per seconds. Okay, so let's convert this uh, 87 revolution per minute into radian per seconds. But wait, sa natin nakuha itong 1 over 30 pi, and then ang magiging unit ng answer is in radian per seconds. Okay, so. Uh, Let's let's show. Okay, so this one convert natin tong revolution per minute. Okay, so minute convert natin into seconds. Okay, so one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Okay, so ang kulang na lang is the revolution. Okay na tayo sa seconds. So kailangan natin convert tong revolution into radian. So kung naaalala natin from our topic from geometry uh, okay this circle uh, the half uh, the semicircle is equal to pi radian okay meaning the complete uh, revolution of this circle is a 2 pi radian okay so 2 pi radian this one this is uh, 1 half pi this is pi 
and then 1 and 1 half pi and 2 pi radian. Okay, so 2 pi radian is equal to 1 revolution. So, let's simplify. Okay, 2 pi radian is equal to 60 uh, over 2 pi radian uh, over 60 second and uh, 60 divided by 2 is 30 this one so cancel yung 2 so uh, the, the conversion is 1 over 30 pi and then the unit will be the radian per second so let's compute Okay, the, the rate of speed in radian per seconds is 91106 radian per second. So, from this one, pwede na natin computing yung height. Meron na tayong itong rate of speed in radian per seconds. Okay, and meron naman tayong radius and the acceleration due to gravity. So, substitute. Okay, the rate of speed is 91106 squared. Okay, and then the radius, 0.6 squared, this one, the radius, and then 2 times acceleration due to gravity. So, uh, the value of H is 1.523 meter. So, in figure, this is the 1.523 from this one. Okay, so from this one, uh, makukuha na natin ang volume ng paraboloid. Okay. But wait. Uh, kung may napapansin kayo dito sa volume of the paraboloid is equal to 1 half pi r squared. Where the pi r squared is the volume of the uh, cylinder. Okay. So, ang h is this one. Meaning, kung ang yung tong pi r squared lang, the volume of this cylinder, okay, ang volume ng paraboloid is 1 half nito. Okay, the volume of this paraboloid is 1 half nito. Meaning, the, the volume of this paraboloid is equal to the volume of this, this one. Okay, the volume of the paraboloid is equal to the volume of this uh, water here. Okay, though hindi natin magagamit dito sa method na pinansolve natin, but in other problems, magagamit natin yon, Okay? So, let's solve the volume of paraboloid. The volume of the paraboloid is equal to 1 half pi. So, R is equal to 1 to 0 0.6 squared and then the height is 1.523 meter. So, the volume of the paraboloid is uh, 0 0.861 cubic meter. So, meron na tayong volume ng paraboloid, meron na tayong volume ng air, ng initial air. So, makukuha na natin yung volume of spilled out or volume ng natapon. So, volume of paraboloid is 0 0.861 cubic meter less volume of uh, initial air is uh, 0 0.7917 cubic meter. So, volume of the spilled out is uh, equal to 0 0.006954 cubic meter and uh, ang tinatanong dito is in liter so let's convert it in uh, liter so 1000 liters is equal to 1 cubic meter so the volume of uh, water spilled out is 69.54 liters and let's say it is uh, 70 liters so Ang, ang volume na natapon ito and then ito is equal to 70 liters. So, thank you for watching.